what made you do TNT? Right. Wait, wait. You know, people say, I just do it for the money. That's mm -hmm. the only reason why a lot of people train, just for the money. Mm -hmm. So why did you do it? Well. Be honest. <sighs> Be honest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got something to tell you. What's up? I ain't gonna be in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a little old. Uh, this is my Vlad TV kind of mm. interview style, y'all. Oh, okay. But okay. you know, oh, we rolled. I'm over here on the other side interviewing him. We rolled him. So you know, right. I got right here. What's your name? Vago made me on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank no, you shout for shout it out. Me. Shout it out. Yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> Vago made me. V a g a m a d e m e. Supposedly, y'all, he tired. Y'all look at him. I'm, I'm just saying. I've been up since what? What time? What time I took over last night? It was about eleven. Yeah. About eleven o'clock. What time is it now? Uh, eight. So you know, you know who day. do all the work. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I do all the work. Nah. Don't nah. let her fool you now. Nah. Let's pull up them uh, hours of service. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know what? We can because right now mine look good. You just got to reset. Uh, <laughs> yes, Lord. But yeah, we just going to answer a few questions. You know, a lot of people like be searching up on YouTube and some questions that I seen in my comment section. I got him here to answer because he got more experience with that than I do. But uh, first, I want to start out with what made you do TNT? Right. Maybe. Wait, wait. You know, people say that. I just do it for the money. That's mm -hmm. the only reason why a lot of people train, just for the money. Mm -hmm. So why did you do it? Well. Be honest. <sighs> Be honest. Let me see something. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm saying. You be it. Not just play. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh. I, it's, honestly, it's both. For me, personally, it's both. It's both. Um. I saw it as a way where I could kind of advance or whatever financially, but also you can't let that be the only reason why you do it because you got a whole new student on your back uh, that you're responsible for. So that money cannot be your only driving force of why you want to do TNT because you're, you're going to hate it. You're not going to be a good trainer. You're going to put bad drivers out there. And after all, you are Reverend Prime. Uh, so, yeah. So both financial finances and then uh, to help a new driver out. Because I feel like I had a lot of stuff to offer. Like I feel like I've been through a lot in my first year. I mean, I know I'm a little rookie, you know what I'm saying, compared to some of y'all out here for 30, 40 years. Those super truckers. Yeah, those super truckers. But I uh, feel like I had something to offer, and I feel like I could articulate it well. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you done, you've done and still is doing pretty good. I appreciate Very that. patient. Appreciate so, that. honestly, do you think that you're trying again? No. <laughs> yeah, he's saying, he's saying that, that this. That sounds so bad. Oh, but the reason is, is, is not, well, at least right now, it's not a good market for it as far as training. Um, I would again if it got red hot. Uh, I would. It's just wear and tear. Um and just honestly the numbers are not really there to train but people wise though like if you're just doing sugar to help somebody oh yeah i'll do it again with the new trainee coming on your truck after being solo for what almost a year uh -huh. like what was what's the biggest pro and con pro having me on the truck okay you different though uh to be honest i'll just tell y'all my mindset i think that better explain i was nervous bro like you get so comfortable, you know what I'm saying, being by yourself. You get into your routine and how you do stuff. Uh, when it comes to planning stuff for the truck, you pretty much got it down pat. Especially like if you know you've been doing pretty good by yourself. So having another person on the truck, it was I was nervous. The responsibility, are we gonna get along? Uh, all kind of stuff, bro. Like, I mean, let's be real. Everybody got to be foreign, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, just like little stuff like that that you think about. It's like, bro, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be with a whole nother stranger. And a female at that. And a female at that. That was something uh, I put on myself to try to 
you know, make myself grow. So, uh, but now I was nervous, bro. That's the best way I can say it. I was just real nervous. So was it like just a whole difference? Whenever I got on the truck, it ain't what you thought it was gonna be. I think our pre-conversation, I think that helped a whole bunch. Um, like a little interview and talking to you, you told me what you like, told you what I like, and a lot of it kind of coincided together. So that helped, um, but still, it's like I ain't met you at that point. And then when you first got on the truck, you know what I'm saying? I could already tell you a hard worker, just some conversation. Um, so I was like, okay, she gonna be willing to run. Then I sat up there with you and I saw how you drove. Uh, you could hold it, you could hold the line. So I was like, okay, she can drive straight. That's half the battle, because if you can't drive straight, Ain't no point in doing nothing else for real. Especially not going back. Nah, you might as well go and hang up, hang it up, and tell them I need to go back to the terminal, <laughs> back to the practice pad. So that helped. Um, what else? Yeah, we just kind of like we just kind of vibe, I guess. You know what I'm saying? What's some advice that you would give like any new trainers and trainees that's getting ready to begin? Uh, trainers, I would say be patient realize that there's a new driver, new student, yeah, they got their CDL, they know enough just to be dangerous. Just have patience, realize that um, they gonna make mistakes, realize that they're not gonna do it how you do it, you know what I'm saying? Realize that you might have to try to figure out different ways to explain stuff uh, so that they understand because everybody learn different. Um, and yeah, just mostly just take your time with them. Uh, don't try to force nothing, I guess. Um, and then just already go in it with a mindset of, I'm starting with a blank canvas. I mean, when they come in, they start doing good, that's just a plus, but just come in with an open mind, like I'm starting with a blank canvas, and with a blank canvas to create a, a nice picture, you know, it take time. So, uh, yeah, it's for the trainer, and then you said trainee? Trainee, yeah. Trainee, trainee, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Right, trainees, man. Y'all be patient too, bro. Uh, realize your trainer is a human as well. Um, y'all come in with an open mind. Like, I know y'all trying to knock the miles out so you can get to the bread, but it's logistics, you know what I'm saying? Logistics is not perfect. <laughs> uh, and trust me, your trainer feeling it too because um, we have down weeks. Like, we don't gross a certain number. It's pretty much pointless for us. Uh, and slime, no, you know what's, what's going on. So, anyway, uh, yeah, y'all come in with an open mind. Also, realize that you're not gonna face every single situation while you're in training. Some stuff you really just gonna be out there learning on your own and you get by yourself, whether you go company or lease or whatever. Uh, just because it's not enough time to literally teach you every minute situation that might pop up because new stuff pop up every day that you got to dress. Um, and yeah, man, just realize it's gonna take time. Like, it's a journey, it's not no sprint, it's a journey. Um, TNT is gonna be the hard, I always tell people that's the hardest part because you gotta deal with a whole nother person. Uh, for a lot of people, that's their first time being away from home that long, so you got those mental battles that you got going on. Um, I also tell people if you don't feel like quitting, you about crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you felt that one. Yeah, but nah, if you don't feel like quitting, you about crazy because everybody feel like quitting. But I promise you, if you press through. Listen, every time we have a low in North Carolina, I say, man, mm -hmm. I'm about to get off this truck. Mm -hmm. So do. <laughs> Somehow I still stay. Nah, you got that uh, determination. That what you got to have, though, for real. Like, see it through because on the other side of it, it can be very rewarding. I don't want to sit and guarantee you, but... uh the system is designed for you to succeed as long as you do everything you need to do. So, yeah, that'd be my advice for the training. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. But uh, if y'all got any more questions to ask us, just comment down below in the comment section. These were some of the questions that I pulled up in previous videos. And make sure y'all go over to his channel, subscribe, Please like, comment, you know, share, tell somebody to watch it. Mm -hmm. And we'll see y'all on the next video. Or if y'all want to see us go live, 
check us out there. I'm slick with the live now. If y'all want to <laughs> see us go live, I'm slick with it. Man, you know, that's that's the natural. No edits, no clips, mm -hmm. no cut. Uncut as they say. Then y'all going to really see who do all the work. Man, I drop for 14 hours straight. If she could, she would. <laughs> like, that's not. I'm going to lie. That's no cap. <laughs> if she could, she would. For real. We got y'all. All right. Catch y'all next time. Oh, <laughs> oh,